Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to St. Michael's on this, the 21st Sunday in Ordinary Time. Please stand as you are able, and we will pray the St. Thomas Aquinas prayer on page 327 in the book. Almighty, eternal God, Behold, I come to the sacrament of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, as one sick to the physician of life, as one unclean to the fountain of mercy, as one blind to the light of eternal brightness, as one poor and needy to the Lord of heaven and earth. I ask, therefore, for the abundance of your immense generosity, that you may graciously cure my sickness Wash away my defilement, give light to my blindness, enrich my poverty, clothe my nakedness, so that I may receive the bread of angels, the King of kings and Lord of lords, with such reverence and humility, such contrition and devotion, such purity and faith, such purpose and intention, as are conducive to the salvation of my soul. Grant, I pray, that I may receive not only the sacrament of the Lord's body and blood, but also the reality and power of that sacrament. O most gentle God, grant that I may so receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, which he took from the Virgin Mary, that I may be made worthy to be incorporated into his mystical body, and to be counted among its members. O most loving Father, grant that I may at last gaze forever upon the unveiled face of your beloved Son, whom I, a wayfarer, propose to receive now, veiled under these species, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Our opening hymn is in the Breaking Bread book, number 315. The opening hymn is in the Breaking Bread book, 315.
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Gloria is on page 890. Page 890. Glory to God in the heart. Faithful to unite in the single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise. That amid and the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may fix it on that faith in that place where true gladness is found through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to Shebna, master of the palace, I will thrust you from your office and pull you down from your station. On that day, 
I will summon my servant Eliakim, son of Hilkiah. I will clothe him with your robe and gird him with your sash and give authority to him uh, over your authority. He shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah. I will place the key of the house of David on Eliakim's shoulder. When he opens, no one shall shut. When he shuts, no one shall open. I will fix him like a peg in a sure spot to be a place of honor for his family. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Oh, the depth of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How inscrutable are his judgments and how unsearchable his ways. For who has known the mind of the Lord or who has been his counselor? 
or who has given the Lord anything that he may be repaid? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be glory forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Praise you, Lord. Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, and he asked his disciples, Who the people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ the son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has now revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the never world shall now prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose in earth shall be loosed in heaven. Then he strictly ordered his disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the 21st on Sunday in ordinary time. It's very important for us to follow the liturgy, Sunday in ordinary time. After that, we will celebrate Lent or Christmas time or Advent times. But now, each Sunday, we receive the Word of God to reflect and to meditate during the whole week. And the first reading we found in Isaiah says, Lord gave, gave to Shemna the work. What is the work? What is the job? The Christian job. Be master of the palace. What does it mean, be master of the palace? They, he must do the care about who enter in the palace and who get out through the palace, out. And the palace has to be clean <coughs> for the Lord. When the Lord God, when the 
honor of the fathers, I mean the kings, go to travel, the master take care about the palace and everything business inside. When the king returned, they asked to the master, everything is okay? But in this case, something happened. The master found though do know that she didn't nothing about that take care of the palace. And Lord say, Check not give me a key. Do not anymore the master. I will give the key to other people because you are not responsible. You not did your job good. You have fired. Go out. And that says, I will give the David house, the key, and the palace, and responsibility. The old everything in the palace. We receive a lot of responsibility in our life. Father, mother, kids, boys. Older boy, little boy, they have, we have responsibility in our life. I remember in my home, in my home, we have only one key for the house. And my father take the only one key. Nobody has kids in house, in home, only my father. But you know, the door for my home never, never was locked. My father and my mother say the door is open, always time, all time, is open. What does that mean? The door is open all time. Even if we fight against my father, against my mother, or make a wrong decision, the door always is open. No matter what happened in the family, the door is always open for us. My father never closed the door for us, never. It's very, very important for us to know what is your responsibility because you had a key. And they say, you can chop the door because you had the power for that. The father had the power to say, you are right late in the home. You sleep out in the garden. He had a power for that and authority for that. You must to obey that. But had a key, had a power. But I've heard sometime, I don't know, was last year, three years ago, who received big power, received big responsibility. This is the life. If you had the power, you had responsibility to how to use that power in the world. It means you had a key. Now, when the gospel, Jesus asked to his disciples, when the people say that they are, um, who I am? The good question, the philosophy question, who I am? Who am I? And the people says, they're confused. To not recognize Jesus like uh, we recognize Jesus. They says, they says, Jesus is Elijah, the John the Baptist, the prophet. But it's confused. And Jesus asked to, to the, his disciple, and you, what did you answer? What did you think about me? And Peter was called at first in the midst of the apostle, respond the question, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And very, very important, Jesus said, blessed are you. Blessed are you, Simon, and I will give you the key. Now, the power become blessed. And the key 
It's the same, same responsibility. You have the power, but means you have received, you have received the bless to be responsible to them, to them something in the world. In this case, Peter received the responsibility to open the kingdom of heaven, not the palace, the kingdom of heaven, the key. And you have the responsibility to open or shut the door for that people with responsibility. Because who knows who is worthy to go to the kingdom of heaven? Peter in the door, in the door, in the heaven. Let us imagine it. Peter in the door, in a lot of keys. Kids, it says keys, lots of kids. No one, lots. I don't know how many doors the kingdom of heaven has. But Peter is over there. <laughs> and knock the door. Who are you? I don't know who they am. <laughs> Quick question. Who I am? But has to ask, who are you in the life? What was your responsibility in the world? How do you fulfill your mission in the world? That is a good question in the door in the kingdom of heaven. And Peter will say, like in the first reading, do you do your job good? Do you love one another? Do you forgive your sins? And Peter had the power to say, no, no, it slipped out the kingdom of heaven. It's very hard, but Peter had the power to open the kingdom of heaven. Now, we have responsibilities in our life. I remember I always put the example in the, when I performed in baptism, We receive in our baptism the key from the kingdom of heaven. We receive the, uh, the grace, the bless, to be ready to the kingdom of heaven. You see the key, you have the key, we are, we have the key. But we receive the baptism on a little boy, a child. And I remember I always put this example. Like a Godfather promised to the child that they will receive a new car, a new car, because you will receive the baptism to the little child, a new car. Of course, father and mother, open your eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In the day the baptism done, the Godfather got a key and put in the little child's hands. The promise is promised. Father, promise is promised. If you promise, please do it. And the little child, what is the little child means, minds? I think that I always said, three times, three moments, three movements. When a kid or score, one, two, three in the red. <laughs> because it's a little child. And the second time to the mouse. And the third drops. But you know, the little child is honored as a key. But has to learn how to use the key. Who did the task? for teaching the little kids how to use the key. Father, mother, you have the mission to teach how to use your kingdom key. How to use in the world because you have responsibility in your home. Each of us, each of us has responsibility. We have the kingdom of heaven in our hands. How is our mission? You must to, to share with the people who do not know who is Jesus Christ. Go, tell them, we have the key from the kingdom of heaven. Show them, offer for the people in the world 
who is Jesus Christ? Because the people do not know who is Jesus Christ. That's the beginning of the gospel. Even now, we have the key. We have the responsibility to, to share our faith with the people. Tell them we have the key of the kingdom of heaven. And do you want to come with me? I will talk with Peter. Peter opened the door for my friends. What does that mean? Intercede for your friends. Intercession. It's our responsibility to, to pray for the people to not believe. Pray and help them to be safe. It's our mission. Now, of course, the little, the little child one day will be ready to use the car. In the meantime, father, mother, use the car, please. <laughs> it doesn't work for how many long, how many years to now use the car? Okay, let us ask Jesus Christ, one, how to use our responsibility in our life? How are to fulfill our responsibility? How to use the kids on the kingdom of heaven? How to show the people you are believing in Jesus Christ? And we recognize Jesus Christ as our Lord, our God. And let us pray for the people to now believe in Jesus Christ. We must be happy because we have the grace. We have blessed upon us. Blessed are you. Blessed are you. Because you receive the key of the kingdom of heaven. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, that all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father of the world in all ages, God from God, light from light, true God and true God, begotten and unmade, consubstantial with the Father, doing all things were made. For us, make for us salvation, be given in the name of heaven. And the Holy Spirit was in the name of the Virgin Mary, and the dead man. For us, he was crucified and crucified. He suffered death and was buried. He rose again on the third day, and in the course of his scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again and glory to judge us with the dead. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and the Lord of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the Lord and the Lord of life, who has so forth the Lord of I believe in the one holy and happiness of the Church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our petition to God. For Pope Francis, the successor of St. Peter, that he, may, that he may use the power of the keys wisely according to God's plan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who accept the burdens of public office, that the powers of evil may not prevail over them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That we may be respectful and docile to the offices of teaching, governing, and sanctifying exercised by the pastors of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For an increase in holy vocations to the priesthood and religious life in the Diocese of St. Cloud, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Ken Stelton, for whom this Mass is offered, and for Dolores Ligeros, who passed away recently, 
and for the souls of all the faithful departed, that the merciful love of the Lord may cleanse and perfect them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our personal intentions today offered in silent prayer, For all of these needs, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please join me in praying the prayer for vocations. Uh, since we have a technological issue, uh, you can pray. I'll pray, and you can pray with me. Gracious God and Father, we praise you for your goodness and love. We ask you to stir the hearts of all those you call to the priesthood, diaconate, and consecrated life in the Diocese of St. Cloud. Send your Holy Spirit upon our families and our children. Choose from our parishes, our homes, and our schools those called to this adventure of love. With Mary, mother of every vocation, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Our offertory hymn is the summons, number 387. Number 387.
brothers and sisters, this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. O Lord, who gain for yourselves a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, Restore grace to you and us, we pray, the gift, the unity, and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. How about during our salvation? Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when your children were scattered afar by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered them again to yourself, that the people form us as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of your Holy Spirit. May to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest of that church. And so in company with the choir and angels, we praise you, and with joy we he proclaim. Sending down your spirit upon the light of his fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entering willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, one more giving thing, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice in my blood, the burden of an eternal covenant, was brown for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. your faith. death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, a breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered through you. Humbly we the partaking of the body of blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one of the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, 
Patrick, I will be shown all the clergy. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep and the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. At mercy and us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be covered with eternal life and may pray and ready for you through your son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and within and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory to all the yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, you form a divine teacher with added to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious to grant peace in our death, but help us of your mercy. We may be always free from sins and safe from all distress, as we are our blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, as our pastor, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not our sins, but with the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other in a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Our communion hymn is number 443, number 443. Let us pray. 
complete with enough, oh Lord, we pray that healing work in your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Announcements. Come and join us mon this Monday to watch the movie Edith Stein, The Seventh Chamber at St. Peter's Parish Library at 6 p.m. with pro refreshments provided. This is a free movie and all are welcome to attend. Art and Soul is sponsoring their annual free fall concert this Sunday, tomorrow, following St. Peter's 1030 Mass in the North parking lot until 3 p.m. Food and beverages will be available and we hope to see you all there. As St. Joseph's is nearing the end of its sale of its school, all St. Joseph parishioners past and present and St. Joseph's school alumni are invited September 9th and 16th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. to walk through the school and have your pick of items that may have nostalgic value. Such items include sports jerseys and equipment, trophies, signs, and more. All desks, tables, chairs, cabinets, and other day-to-day -day school equipment will stay with the school, however. Free offering accepted. Free will offering. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Number one eighty nine. One eighty nine. Number 189. 